Good morning, Randy here from Canadian Prairie Edible Garden and today we have a lot of things to do. We're planting, we're finally planting our seedlings which we started growing since um, late February, early March. Um, we also have some uh, new plants we're gonna plant. So it's gonna be a busy day, it's a bit windy, but the sun is high up and it's perfect day for replanting. We have we have a number of tomato plants. We also have our mesclunes and um, a number of other stuff. So that's it. Let's go. So before um, planting all this um, seedlings, we're going to mix some sea soil on our um, garden beds. So a sea soil is actually a 50% um, fish byproduct uh, mixed with um, some forest fines. So it's not actually a chemical um, fertilizer, it's all natural. Okay. So we have this um, mixed salad green, so I'm going to separate it into two parts and let's see if it survives.
so we're done with our salad greens and now we're trying to plant the um, fennel so it's our first time to grow it so we'll see how it goes in our backyard So next would be our winter sown seedlings. So we have this spinach and then the radicchio. So we prepared this last February and it was still winter time. So we collect all the milk jugs, open it, and then we put some soil and then we planted some seeds. And then we put them at the backyard and then uh, these milk chucks actually act as a mini greenhouse for this seedlings and it's actually saving us some time for hardening and it's preventing damage too while they're while they're still growing okay so it looks like it's a success so we might do this again next year
So we're done transplanting our garden salad seedlings on this part of our uh, backyard. So we're going to give you an update in a couple of weeks and we're hoping that we could harvest lots of greens. So up next, we are going to transplant our tomatoes and um, lemon balm and a lot of seedlings. <laughs> So now we're going to plant our tomatoes on this side of our garden. So we have three kinds of tomatoes, the Roma tomatoes, Clementine, and the Brandywine. And then we're planning to put some basil plants too at the front. Okay, and we're going to put some, we're going to add some sea soil to give nutrients to our tomatoes. Just a handful. Thank you. 
So we changed our plants instead of putting the basil in front of the tomatoes. Um, we just realized that we have um, spaces in between. So we're going to trim the tomatoes once they mature. So we have enough spaces for the basil to grow. Okay. So we're done with our tomatoes and basil. Next would be the peppers at the back side. <laughs> So done with the peppers and done with this area. So we have the tomatoes, basil, and the peppers. So I'm going to put uh, more sea soil on top and then I'm going to water them. So it's Patty Pan Squash's turn for our edible garden. So we are now at the back side of our backyard. It's actually the driveway. So we're going to put one, two, three, and four Patty Pan Squash. Okay.
Okay, so that's it. We're done with our patty pan squash. But then I have to put some tomato rings to support to support the growth. <laughs> Next are our uh, vine seedlings. We have here our watermelon, six of them. We have one nasturtium and um, about six uh, cucamelon vines. But the cucamelons, they don't look so happy, so I'm not sure about them, but we'll plant them anyway. that's it for today we have planted all our vegetable seedlings in our zone 3 garden we are looking forward for more harvest this year and we'll keep uh, we'll sending updates so this is me from canadian prairie edible garden don't forget to subscribe